Hi everyone, Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Um, I'm going to do my chapter 7, part 2 lesson. It's for my Japanese student. I'm just going to do a quick summary of what I taught him. So, this lesson is about abilities, um, how to say the weekend, and the word for clubs. So, dekimas means you can do something. I I can do. Dekimasen is can't do. So, for example, tenisu ga dekimas. I can do tennis. Or saka ga dekimasen. I can't do soccer. Well. That's saying if you can do something or can't do something. But there's another way to express your abilities, and that's with the word jōzu, jōzu, which means um, good at something or skilled at something. Or the opposite of jōzu is hetta, hetta. That means unskilled at something or not good at something. And if you're in between Josu and Heta, you can do like Mama, just like so so so. Or um there's a humble way to say no I'm not there yet, I'm not good at it yet. You can say Mada Mada des Mada Mada des Mada means not yet. It's like, not yet, not yet. Kind of hard to explain in English. So, for example, with, um, <clears throat> with Jozu, you just say, blank ga Jozu des. So let's say, um, you're saying that someone's good at English. So, ego ga Jozu des ne. You're good at English, aren't you? <laughs> or, Nihongo ga jōzu desu ne. You're good at Japanese, aren't you? And then you could say, Ie, mada mada desu. No, I'm not good yet. <laughs> um, hetta. I never really heard anyone say that my Japanese is hetta, or I never heard people really use it. Um, because that's kind of, I don't know, I think that's kind of impolite to say, oh, you're not good at something. <laughs> um, so I think it's something you would say about yourself. Like, I can't hit a soccer ball even if my life depended on it. So maybe I would say, like, saka ga hetta desu. I'm no good at soccer. Or let's say I can't do tennis. Tenisu ga hetta desu. So that's just how I would say it. Or if you're so so at something, ma ma des. I'm okay at it. Um, what else? So you noticed, um, when I was saying, when I was using dekimas and jozu and hetta, um, you used the ga particle. So, but with ma ma, uh, you can use the wa particle. So, um, the next one, next thing I want to teach is the word for weekend. So, the word for weekend is shumatsu. Shumatsu. Okay. So, so um, you know that's a good word to know. Let's say you wanted to ask, how was your weekend? Shumatsu wa dou dashita ka? How was your weekend? Um, dou is how, dashita is past tense. How was your weekend? Uh, shumatsu ni nani o shimashita ka? What did you do over the weekend? Now you notice I'm using the ni particle after shu matsu because it's um, 
the knee is used with like time time words Shu ni that's like over the weekend or on the weekend nani what oh shimashita ka shimashita is past tense of shimas to do and then raishu <clears throat> no shu matsu ni nani o shimashita ka what what will you do next weekend raishu is next week Shu matsu's weekend. So, Dai Shu next week, no. Shu matsu, weekend. Next weekend. Ni, nani o shimasu ka? Uh, what will you do? Um, Shu matsu ni, nani o shimasu ka? Uh, what do you do on the weekend? What do you do on the weekend? Shumatsu ni nani o shimasu ka? So, yep. That's just different way that you can use shumatsu. Oh, my mom's coming. <laughs> what? What? Alright, bye. <laughs> um, but if you want to say, oh yeah. In the first one, I did shumatsu wa dodashita ka. I used wa after shumatsu because shumatsu is being used like a noun. The weekend, how was it? Um. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is the word for clubs. So this is really easy. Um, you say like the sports, the sports, and then you do the word for club, which is boo, just boo. So tennisu is tennis. Tennisu boo is tennis club. Basketball boo is like basketball club. Um, yeah. Saka boo is soccer club. Um. Kendo bu is tennis club, and so forth. Okay, well that is everything. <sighs> I always make these lessons too long. Thank you for watching. Bye, and I hope it helps.